I am pretty late on this one, but we are gonna try to catch up. We are gonna talk about the voice actor card collection volume 8, Marinka Biori. If you do not know what the voice actor card collection is, here's a super quick overview. This is a special product that is created by Bushiroad. In a sense, it is an idle photo book in the form of a trading card set. Each set is based around a single person of interest. There is no game behind these cards, they are just for a collection. And my producer has told me that these are literally baseball cards but with idols. Which honestly, that is a very fair summation. So with the introductions out of the way, let's talk about today's idol, Marika Kono. She was born in Tokyo on February 22nd, 1994. She is the middle child of three. She became interested in the world of voice acting when she found out that Pikachu and Chopper were both voiced by the same person. Honestly, what a range. After that, she wanted to pursue voice acting. She enjoyed reading out loud in class, so it was meant to be. She entered her high school's voice acting club, and after she graduated, she enrolled in Yoyogi Animation Academy. She graduated in 2014, signed with Masu Promotion Agency, and that is the same year where you had her in her first major role in the anime Seiyu's Life, where she voiced the character on the screen right now. Now, I haven't seen the anime, but it is officially in my watch later along with a million other series. So check back with me in five years, I might have started the first episode by then. Not only that, but she also does a lot of music. She is part of an idol group called Earphones. The idols in Earphones are actually the Seiyus from Seiyus Life. They have multiple albums out and Marika's color is blue. She's actually uh, right there. She's doing, uh, doing a dance. Not only that, but she also has solo work as well. Her most recent album, Hitotsu, was released this year in February 23rd, 2022. That's basically it. She joined an agency, started voice acting work, really basic. She moved to Aoni Production in 2019 and that is where she is now. It's honestly like nothing crazy or wild. She's just like a normal, nice girl. The Bushy Road connection, because every VACC idol has some sort of Bushy Road connection, Silence Suzuka from Uma Musume. There we go. I said the thing. We're all happy now. If you don't know what Uma Musume is, educate yourself. Also, yeah, legit, there really isn't much else to her history or her story. She is a normal human girl who is a good voice actor, and although she hasn't landed that many major roles from critically acclaimed series, she has Uma Musume, which is, she's fine. She's doing fine. Don't worry about her. She's doing well. So with that out of the way, let's talk about some trivia. In middle school, Mariko was part of her basketball team. Some of her hobbies include swimming, basketball, and headbanging. Yeah, she's still a normal girl, I guess. Her favorite food is beef jerky, and she always carries some in her purse if she ever gets hungry. She is a normal human girl. All right, so since we are talking about her, we need to cover some of more of the sad stuff. Um, there was an incident where she decided to close down her Instagram account, and she was actually sent death threats from fans. They were upset because they were losing a major catalog of Marika stuff, which, let's just get that out of the way, that's super fucked up, don't do that please. She may be a public figure, but she's still a person. And currently, while I was working on this script for the video, uh, she has stated that she is taking a break from all activities for the time being. Basically, she is burnt out, she is working way too hard and the stress just built up. And recently, in one of the Uma Musume lives, the, where she would be standing, the spot was empty. So take care, Marika, get some rest, and we'll see you when you are ready. And with the mood ruined, let's talk about some trading cards. The voice actor card collection volume 8 is based around Kono Marika, obviously. The set is called Marika Biori. This was released on February 22nd, 2022. And as you have noticed, because you are super smart, that is her birthday. VACC 8 has a total of 102 cards. The base rarities are on the screen right now. And yes, there are hot stamped cards of her signatures and super, super, super lucky fans have a potential to pull a hand signed card. As in, she touched the cards and signed them herself. The themes in the series are as follows. Vacation, which has her on a beach setting. Sports, which is a mix of tennis and baseball. Game has her lounging around and playing video games and reading books. Yukata is self-explanatory. She is in a Yukata and doing summer festival stuff. Dress has her wearing a fancy dress, and Memory is the standard one that is featured in all of the VACCs. 
They are public posts that she has made on her social media as they turn those pictures into cards. Each theme does have a hot stamped card. You are guaranteed one hot stamped card per booster box. There are also going to be special pre-order bonuses that you could get depending on the store that you purchase from. Gamers gives you sports, Tower Records and Amazon gets you the game PR card, Bushiroad Online Store has Yukata and Animate has Dress. If you purchase her first album, which slaps by the way, you get one of these PR cards depending on what edition of the album you purchase. We have Vacation and Dress. Oh yes, there is more. Gamers has a special acrylic stand as well as a special deal that if you purchase a box and a binder, you get a clear file as well. Not only that, but if you purchase the March 2022 issue of Bushy Road Magazine, you are able to get a poster as well as this memory PR card. And hey, guess what? If you purchase the magazine from gamers, you get a special bromide of sports. What I hate is that they're always sold out before I get to see the pre-order bonuses because I would have purchased this in a heartbeat. But Lunchbox, you fucking simp. I have all these cards and nothing to put them in. What do I do? First of all, don't call me a simp. It's Mr. Simp to you. And boy, do I have a product for you. All current editions have a special binder featuring the voice actress on the front and back. Sold separately, of course. This binder includes a special making of DVD where you can possibly guess what it is. Let's get a quick sample. Riveting. But wait, <laughs> there is more, and this is a recent development as well. There is also a special Kuji that you can participate in where you get some special products. All the items are on the screen right now. <sighs> Alright, so I have like about a hundred and four dollars in my life savings and some British pounds here. I don't know, I think like uh, $200 worth of British pounds. Hopefully that's enough to get me into Japan. And there we have the VACC Volume 8 Manika Biyori. So in my previous VACC video, I did mention that the Ayasa VACC was available on the Bushy Road Global Online Store. This one is not. I'm not really sure as to why, but if I had a guess, and again, this is completely uneducated. Well, slightly educated. I would guess that it's because her voice actor role in the world of Bushy Road is from Uma Musume, which is not really here in the United States or really in the global market. It's really, really niche in the Japanese market. The average Uma Musume fan either really likes idols or really likes horses or really likes gambling because again, they all race horses. I like the idols. That's why I like it. Also, the character designs are pretty cute. So Uma Musume as a property is pretty niche, especially in the global market. And I'm sure that Bushy Road wouldn't want to sell some something like that as opposed to a voice actress who was a part of Bang Dream which we all know is a global hit. There is less of a financial risk at stake with Bang Dream as opposed to Uma Musume. Hence why we got the Ayasa, the Amane, as well as the Reizei Suilin on the Bushy Road Global Online Store. I really wish there was a store site where we could get all of these and not have to worry about shipping costs but oh well, here we are simping and yes, I got my box right here. Where's, where's my box? Ah, oh, shit. And before we get going, let's end the video with some haul from people on Twitter, as well as some displays and promotional images. And that 
is where we're gonna end today's video. Did you fall in love with Marika Kona like I did while I was researching this? Did I just say the quiet part out loud? Uh, yikes. I'm gonna get roasted for that. Thank you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more voice actor card collection and just, I guess, like idol stuff. I don't know, training card stuff. News and content. Catch y'all in the next video.